What's up, everybody? This is David Gray, the Lifestyle Editor with the News. I have taken over today, or at least for the foreseeable future, for uh, publisher and editor Q David, who's trying to take a step back. But yeah, we're going to have a rotating sort of panel doing this. I'll be doing this for uh, the next few days. We'll have our community liaison, Drew, Drew Walker, doing it some, and then our sports guys, William Weather Weathers and Rob DeArmond. Also, get ready. There's going to be many stumbling blocks along the way while we try to figure this out. Some of us haven't done this before, but you know we're all trying to do something new. So let's uh, let's get started. First things first. Uh, this is the Livingston Parish News. You can follow us on all of our social media platforms: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. We also have an app where you can get breaking news. We which where you get any kind of news basically everything that we publish goes on our app we have a youtube channel and a weekly podcast uh, last week our editor did a really good podcast with uh, congressman garrett graves who was actually at one of the things that i covered this weekend we're gonna be talking about that some today so first things first is your traffic and it looks pretty uh smooth right now there's some there's some traffic on 190 near Eden Church Road, near that uh, roundabout by the Livingston Parish Library. There always seems to be traffic in that area. Uh, weather today, yeah, in case you didn't walk outside, it is very hot today. Uh, the Right now it's 95 degrees, but it feels like 105, it says. So yeah, we'll say it's 105 degrees. And this week it's going to be more hot weather and also some uh, rain coming up this week, so be on the lookout for that. But speaking of the weather, uh, last week, if some of you know, there was some um, some unrest kind of with the uh, Livingston Parish school system last week with the buses not having air conditioning in there. Well, today with the heat advisory going on across South Louisiana, the School system is, has provided water bottles, two cases of water bottles, I believe, to each bus that carries students. So uh, I reached out to Delia Taylor, the sports, or excuse me, the spokeswoman for the school system. She said that they're going to be doing that today and tomorrow, uh, Monday and Tuesday, and then you know if they need to do it the rest of the week, they'll uh, they'll re they'll do that then. But yeah, I mean, the, it's hot, you know that, and. Uh, to put ACs in those buses would be $5 million. So right now the water seems to be the cheapest avenue. But We have an online poll for that. And we have an online poll for that, says my editor, McHugh David, who is sitting in while I do that. So, And uh, and other news kind of going the opposite of the heat wave is drainage. Uh, the Walker City Council tonight is having, uh, they actually moved their meeting to Walker Freshman High to accommodate more people because, yeah, they're having a very, uh, they're discussing a report on drainage which if you live in walker you go around walker you know that when it rains hard that area really really takes in some water i remember uh back in june whenever we had that that uh downpour of seven inches of rain in one day i mean several neighborhoods flooded including some that you know had just rebuilt their their homes from the great flood of 2016 so tonight they're going to be meeting and talking about that and this, the city, Walker City Council will also revisit condemnation proceedings against one house after that issue was tabled in July. And then they're going to discuss other th three other resolutions. Uh, and then Chief David Addison is going to ask the council to approve the promotion of Blake Bryant to corporal. Um, in other news, uh, Denham Springs City Council on Tuesday will consider and accept bids to tear down Old City Hall on Government Street. Uh, since we all know that 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 building, three 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 government buildings in that area got uh, flooded during the Great Flood of 2016, and plans are to demolish those and turn that into a green space. You know, possibly have a pavilion there. And so uh, tomorrow night they're going to be talking about uh, they're going to be talking about the bids to tear that down. And the city hall has been moved, you know, since the flood to the old Capital One building in downtown Denham Springs between Range and Hummel, and they seem to be, they seem to like it out there, so it's good to see that everything is moving on from there. In my other notes, the town of Livingston, the uh, the Board of Aldermen voted uh, three to two to approve a resolution calling for to allow voters to decide on the sales of alcoholic beverages within town limits. It was passed three to two. The voting voting yes were the aldermen, Jimmy Neeson, Dusty Glasscock, and Percy Edler. And Edler was also the one who presented the resolution to the board. Voting no were Dwayne May and Joey Sibley. Voters will have a chance to vote on that November 16th. 
and then uh, and some other uh, switching from news to more lifestyle stuff, the stuff that I cover. Uh, this weekend, there was a the cleanup of the eight. It was called Project River Cleanup. It was started by this woman named Rachel Deaton who lives in Watson, and she. Basically, they had about 50 boats out there, more than 100 volunteers. I mean, you had probably sometimes some boats. You had three or four people per boat. They collected three to four tons of trash all in local waterways in Livingston Parish, you know, some in Ascension Parishes. Uh, I mean, it was this weekend. It was pretty uh, astonishing to see how much trash was out there. I mean, there was old refrigerators there was a cast iron tub that no one could move we we tried to move that for about 30 or 45 minutes and the the boat captain i was with he just gave up on us and the parents are gonna have to do that because there was just there was just no way of moving and that's one of the issues that they're seeing out there especially a lot of people who live on the water is people just using the waterways especially the amy river as basically just a, a dumping ground and it has it has really affected i mean it's affected drainage i mean you, you block the waterways you can't water can't drain and grace creek near 4-h club road there was a picture that uh that i was sent that shows i mean just this pile of old cans plastic i mean every sort of trash you could think of that was just just blocking off the entire waterway so so there was a it was a good turnout though this weekend with all the people that came out there i mean they were cleaning in the sun on the water with no no protection or anything for a good eight hours and none of them were getting paid to do it it was just people doing it because they love the water and they want to be out there and they want to see it clean so they're trying to make that more of an annual thing because there, uh, there used to be you know annual cleanups with the parish but that hasn't happened in a few years and just with how much worse the debris issue has gotten especially since the flood of 2016 it's uh it looks like it's really needed uh, this week, uh, this weekend, the Grand Country Direction, and if you don't know, that's a that's a monthly show in Livingston Parish, it's third third Saturday of every month at the Summa Crossing Theater. This weekend, they're actually bringing in some national talent. Uh, Brian White, he's he's had six number one hit singles, and he is going to perform at the Grand Country Direction this Saturday. Tickets are twenty bucks a piece. They can be bought at the door. The Grand Country Direction is located right off the Satsuma exit. Uh, exit 19 and right before you get to Livingston. So that's going to be, uh, that's that should be a good show. I mean, they always draw a pretty good crowd and whenever they're able to book these nationally known acts, I mean, it, uh, it should be a packed house. So if you want to go, make sure to get there at 5.30 p.m. That's when the doors will open and the show starts at 7 o'clock. And then in some other lighter news, uh, North Corbin Junior High, they had their uh, – sorting party this this week and if you don't know uh the north corbin junior high is the only school in livingston parish to adopt the house system into their curriculum and if you're a fan of harry potter you know what the house system is it's you break up the school into houses each student gets put into a certain house and then those houses work together throughout the school year and they accumulate points and at the end of the year they give out the house cup well north corbin junior high this is the third year that they've done that and it's Carolyn Vosberg, the principal there, said it's really changed how that school operates. I mean, it's uh, it's built camaraderie between people of different grade levels, and just just the social aspect of it alone, she says, is worth doing it. So we had some uh, some really good photos that our uh, photographer went and got out there. They have this big pep rally at the start of school where the new students, any you know, incoming sixth graders or new students uh, in grade seven and eight, they get to draw. Uh, draw a card from a bucket and that determines what house they're in and it, it was just a fun time they have house parties throughout the year and like i said they kind of they, they'll tally up all the points throughout the year and then they'll and then they will uh god I lost my train of thought for a second then they'll uh award the house cup at the end of the year so that's kind of what's going on so so once again if you if you uh, just give us a like and a share on Facebook. If you want to retweet us, go to Twitter. We're all we're on all the social media platforms. And look up where we have stuff coming out every day. www.livingstonparishnews.com. If you can't, like I said, just give us a like, share, retweet, whatever you want, and uh, we're there for your news every day. And this Thursday we'll have our we'll have our Thursday edition coming out this week, and then we have a Sunday edition as well. Online subscriptions are five dollars. Newspaper subscriptions are ten dollars a month, and. And so, yeah, David Gray, sign out. I'll see you all tomorrow.